Hi, welcome back to Avocet Math. We're continuing our discussion on Diophantine equations, and at this point in the series, I hope I've convinced you of the usefulness and importance of comparing integer factors for solving integer equation problems. And this method shows up in all kinds of ways in number theory, and it is by far the single most used method in all of number theory, uh, playing important roles in topics such as uh, theory for generating Pythagorean triples, These are number sets such as uh, 3, 4, 5, 5, 12, 13, and many more, probably familiar with those. Uh, the comparing of integer factors also plays a key role in establishing the existence of irrational numbers. These are numbers such as uh, square root of 2, third root of 7, maybe log of 3, and many more. Integer factors also shows up prominently in the subject of cryptography. One of the more popular methods of encrypting messages involves prime numbers. And that uh, particular method often shows up in our web browsing on secure sites. It's often the, uh, the S in the HTTPS of some of the secure websites that we visit, such as uh, banking institutions and, and the like. And the last topic I'd like to mention is uh, Gödel's incompleteness theorem. Uh, this is a milestone in the theory of logic and deductive reasoning, and it's quite profound in its implications. And this theorem is built almost entirely using concepts of prime factorization. So uh, I encourage you to Google this and, and poke into that. So at this point, I want to talk about the math underpinnings for comparing integer factors. So uh, I'll go into the fundamental theorem of arithmetic in the uh, next PDF file. Now you've probably heard of this before and you've probably seen it before, but you may not have appreciated all the ways this key result shows up in uh, number theory and AMC problem solving. You really need to see it in action a few times to appreciate it and use it effectively. And uh, the second topic in the next PDF file is a review of the concepts of uh, least common multiple and greatest common divisor. Uh, these concepts show up in AMC problems frequently, and it's good to brush up on those if you're not uh, already familiar. And uh, in the subsequent PDF file, we'll have another integer problem set. Involving uh, integer factor questions from the AMC. So go ahead and check out those two PDF files and I'll see you in the next videos of several example problems.